Hello, everybody. It's Flare 31 here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal version. In the last episode, we did a lot of catching things. And first ball on, like, all of them, which was crazy, actually. Like, not too crazy, but a little bit crazy. Um, I mean, that was, that was really it. And then we also traded to get our last trade Pokemon, and all that. And in this episode, we're still in Johto. I know, I know, I keep saying, okay, back to Kanto, back to Kanto, back to Kanto. And then I keep coming back to Johto, back to Johto, back to Johto. Well, we finally have the remainder of what we need to do the Ruins of Alf. So we might as well get it out of the way now. And of course, the things that we need to do require us to go to Union Cave. So we're going to have to go in through the back. Anyway, I'll meet you there. Okay. Coming out of Union Cave where you don't need the strength boulder, only surf. Back here on the wall, it said Ho-Oh on it. So if you have Ho-Oh in the first slot of your party, it's so leading your party, then this will open as soon as you enter the room. Um, if you're playing the remakes, then instead of needing it to be in the front of your party, it has to be in your party in general, but you know. And you get a gold berry for your troubles. You get a mystery berry for your troubles. A charcoal? Okay. And a revival herb. Kinda lame, actually. Kinda lame. Alright, let's see what this says. It says, We humans must learn to walk in what's that say harmony with them we depart for their sakes hmm is that like humans that were exploring the unknown ruins leaving that message behind I'm not sure either way let's go find what the other thing is shall we okay coming out from the strength boulder side of Union Cave This back, uh, the, the back panel wall thing, the word said Waterstone, or I just said water, or something like that. Either way, if uh, you have Waterstone in your inventory when you enter the room, it will open. And if you're playing the remakes, then you have to press use on the Waterstone in your bag while facing the wall. And another mystery berry. Something, is it gonna be like a, ooh, a mystic water? Honestly, that's not that cool. I want a water stone. Give me a water stone. <laughs> a star piece? That's at least you could sell that. Stardust. Okay, at least you can sell these this stuff, like, and get good money out of it. Alright, what does this say? They possess great insight and refuse the outside world. They possess great insight and refuse the outside world. Hmm. Interesting. And with that, we have actually finished the Ruins of Alf. I know, it took forever. Um... I don't know which way I need to go, to be honest, to get out of here, but I know it took forever, and I'm as glad as you are that it's finally done out of the way. But it is kind of neat that it can be an area that you can get to so early in the game, that you can come back to periodically, and have things to do still, 
especially if you remember or are inclined enough to be able to check. And it also it's kind of cool that it connects to Union Cave like it does. I think it's kind of cool, and yeah, I'd say it's one of the strength, strengths of Johto as a whole. Johto? Johto as a whole. Uh, to be able to do that, have that sort of exploration baked into the region like it does. That being said though, we can actually go back to Kanto for once. But before we do that, before we do that, I did withdraw some random Pokemon from the PC that were all holding items because after the whole Dragon Air fiasco, I was like, maybe some more Pokemon are holding items that I didn't know about. Ex excuse the heck out of me? I don't have space. Oh, fine. I will sell some stuff and deposit things to the PC and be back. Okay. Snorlax was holding leftovers, which makes sense. Oh, oh, believe it or not, it was holding an item, and it holds a Sacred Ash, which in Gen 2 is actually really cool, because if a single Pokemon in your party faints, if you use it, it'll heal the HP and PP of all Pokemon in the party. But it gets consumed after you use it, like any other healing item, so... It's pretty cool, and then after this generation, it got nerfed, so where it only restores HP of all fainted Pokemon instead of all Pokemon, and then there's no PP at all involved in that. Kind of lame. And then Shelter is holding a Pearl, which we can sell, which is pretty great. Um, okay, I'm going to grab the rest of my party, and then we can actually move on. Okay, we're back in Pewter City. I uh, know, remember Pewter City? And me neither. Let's actually explore the town, shall we? The Jigglypuff doesn't sing? Most Pokemon get drowsy if they hear a Jigglypuff singing. There are several moves that can be used only while Pokemon is asleep. Like Snore and Sleep Talk. Hi, I'm looking for this Pokemon. If you have Haunter, would you trade it for my Zatu? And no. You don't have one either. Gee, that's really disappointing. Honestly, I would take a Haunter over a Zatu any day. Yeah, and the gym in Cinnabar is gone. I was really amazed. Yes, I'm on the phone. Go away. Uh, interesting news. At night, Clefairy come out to play at Mount Moon. But not every night. Interesting. At night, but not every night. Which is it? Which is it? I like snoozing with the radio on. Some people need the radio on. Welcome to Pure City. Isn't this peaceful? Not catching Pokemon, not having to worry about anything. Pewter City, a stone gray city. They really need to work on their marketing department. Like, it's so bad. <laughs> a stone gray city. Like, okay. Probably should have gone around the right side, actually. I don't think there's anyone over here, but we'll check anyway. Eh, no, there wasn't. Let's read this real quick. It says, there's a notice here. Mount Moon gift shop now open. Now, of course there's a gift shop. There's always a gift shop. Ah, you came all the way out here from Johto. That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of what I was like as a young man. Okay, here. I want you to have this item I found in Johto. And it gives you a silver wing. And you might already be able to guess what that means. There once was a weird old man who sold Magikarp. He was saying the Magikarp from the Lake of Rage were excellent. Yeah... Hi, check out my Gyarados. I raised it from a Magikarp. I can't believe how strong it has become. And then we also have the shop, of course, that sells nothing exciting. They never do. And what you guys say? Have you visited Pewter Gym? Flea or uses rock type Pokemon. Uh, I knew that. Did we go in here yet? No, we didn't. Hit around, shake. Cool trick. I can tell you guys practiced really hard for it. Ooh, there's some berry trees out here. I don't know why I bother picking them, but we're so far in, might as well just keep doing it. Because I always just sell the berries. Because they grow back. So it's like... 
It's not like I'm gonna run out of a precious rare resource or anything like that. Ooh, you can't go into the back anymore. That's kind of sad. There's notes here. Pure Museum of Science is closed for renovations. Oh, you can't go in at all. That's really sad. Well. And then down here. Pure City Pokemon Gym. Leader Brock. The rock solid Pokemon trainer. Guess what? We actually get to do the gym! I know, I know. Don't celebrate too much. This is actually the next gym on the list of gyms to do in which order, so. Yo, champion making. You're really rocking. Are you battling the gym leaders of Kanto? They're strong and dedicated people, just like Johto's gym leaders. The trainers of this gym use rock type Pokemon. The rock type has high defense. Battles could end up going a long time. Are you ready for this? I have my bird Pokemon now, I realize. Um, that probably wasn't the smartest idea. Sand Slash? Oh, and you don't even have a, a rock type, you have a ground type. This actually worked out really well. I was gonna say I have Steel Wing, so it's not like crazy, like, oh my god, I can't do anything to them. Ooh, you lived one attack. And you sand attacked me. Good for you. And goodbye. Alright, let's just switch out to um, Pop Quiz for the fight. <laughs> I have to win these battles. Yeah, we'll switch to Pop Quiz. It'll be fine. Hello, Pop Quiz. And here we go. Wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the pewter gym leader. I'm an expert on rock-type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on. Okay, bud. You don't have to flex on me, because you're not really flexing on me. Ooh, you have a Growler. That's also very much not a flex. Why do you have a Growler that's level 41, dude? Couldn't find anyone to trade with. Too bad the abilities don't exist yet, because I could have like damp. And then he couldn't self-destruct or explode. Not that he was gonna get a chance, but you know. A Kabu Tops. Ooh, that's a water type. Um Honestly. I'm gonna stay in, Surf. It would probably be best to go out to our electric type, because electric will deal super effective damage and stuff, and steel type, and blah 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 blah. But neutral damage, you know, took it out still. Took it out still. And the Amistar. Now that I actually might want to switch out for. Nah. Let's go, Pop Quiz. He's failing his Pop Quiz right now. Kind of unfortunate for him. Ooh, it's still killed. Okay. I was expecting Amistar to live it, actually. Just because it's more defensive. And an Onyx, which... Uh, okay. It's still not a flex, like, whatsoever. Like, I realize you're the Rock-type rock type dude, and you have to use Rock-types. But Steelix is right there. It's new. It's shiny. Alright, what's your last one? The golem? No, it's a Rhyhorn. Ooh. Why not a Rhydon, dude? Oh, you're one level away from being a Rhydon. That's unfortunate. Uh bye-bye. Now, I will say this. It is neat to see like better teams for gym leaders than you would normally get to see. You know, instead of like the crappy level 10 Geodude and level 12 Onyx that Brock has in like Generation 1. Your Pokemon's powerful at... Uh, oh, powerful attacks overcame my rock-hard defense. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. What team are you going to give me? I just want the TM. Chris, thanks. I enjoy battling you, even though I'm a bit upset. 
That boulder badge will make your Pokemon even more powerful. You're, you're not gonna give me any new badge? Or, I mean, TM. Oh, wow. Why did I even bother? What a waste of my time. And also, this guy is now level 55, which is kind of neat. Um, and what this actually means for us is we're setting in motion now a string of gyms that we're going to be able to do. Because pretty much every gym we skipped over, we now want to do in some some order or another so first off we're gonna go back to vermilion city and we're gonna take on lieutenant surge and his gym and stuff i don't even need to heal because i'm baller like that cut this tree down we could have surfed around it, but... Yo, champion making. You lucked out this time. The Saint Surge is very cautious. He has traps set all over the gym, but <laughs> the traps aren't active right now. You'll have no problem getting the legendary surge. Nice. I'm going to take you down. Prepare to be shocked. I'm still using my bird Pokemon. I realize. Ooh, Electrode. I should probably switch out. Yeah, might as well just use Richter. I'll let Richter get a gazillion experience for fighting the gym. Roll out? Why would you roll out? <laughs> what the heck? That was a weird choice. So, to reiterate, while we're sitting here and battling a bunch of stuff, the reason I chose this gym order is purely like level based, level curve based. So, we're basically going from lowest level to highest level. Not necessarily easiest to hardest, because team composition and stuff I didn't take into account. But, um, another thing I like doing is I like doing them in like Kanto gym order. So, I like doing like Pewter and then Cerulean and then Vermilion. So on and so forth, and I usually do that, but I also think of this way is a little bit more sensical in the grand scheme of things. Like, you're kind of just like, uh, because the thing is, if you do gyms as you come across them, the levels go all over the place, and I think it's super nonsensical to do it that way. But if you do the gyms this way, at least they're a bit more sens sensical, though there is never really a sensical, because they just kind of plop you into the middle of the region. Oh, ah, I was overpowered. And there's a lot of weird hurdles and stuff, and things and events and things and other things. It's very strange. Um, long story short, I settled on this. You're here to defeat Lieutenant Surge? Not if I can help it. And you can't help it. What do you have? A Pikachu? A Raichu? A Pikachu. Level 37 Pikachu. And goodbye. I'm probably going to have to heal PP. Actually, I probably won't have to heal PP, but I'm going to do it anyway. I think. Ooh, a Flaffy. Okay. I don't think we've seen a Flaffy. Like, at all yet. At least I don't remember seeing one. Maybe we have. Alright. Still not quite level 55, but we have one more battle. Sorry I failed you, Lieutenant Surge, sir. Lieutenant Surge recognized my potential with electric Pokemon. I think you can beat me. Without lifting a finger, my dude. Oh, you have four Pokemon. So that means they're gonna be low level and unevolved and yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, I probably should heal my PP. Though it could be funner if I go in without healing my PP, so we might just do that. Because we're going to have exactly six after this battle, assuming we use Earthquake every time and knock everything out in one hit. And there's no way the Chancellor has six Pokemon, so we should be fine. And it's not like there's anything crazy that could take out Richter. Or like, if, even if he has, like, a, a Lantern, like, <laughs> I don't care, like, the thing's still gonna die. Well, why don't you just evolve the Magnemite, dude? It's level 32. It evolves to level 30. What are you holding on for? What a team. Okay. Let's go ahead and do it. And if I were smart, I would save, but I'm not and I won't. Oh, how shocking. Gonna make me go around you guys. Hey, you little tyke. I have to hand it to you. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. Please tell me I have a Raichu. That'd be nice. I'd like to see a Raichu. Yeah! I like Raichu's design so much. Ooh, has quick attack. Not that that's going to help it any, but that was neat. No, I'm doing this gym first. That'd be crazy. And by crazy, I mean it probably won't matter too much unless you're under level already. And then, oh boy, it could be uh, something. Uh, bye bye. As far as it didn't use like explosion or something since it went first. Maybe he doesn't have it, though I feel like that's a missed opportunity on his part. Alright. Ooh, it has double team. That's not good. No, dude, no. You can't miss. You're not allowed to miss. No, no. Oh, thank god. That could have been bad. We'd have 10 PP on Poppet's Earthquake, and that's really about it. Everything else would just be like hitting it with stuff and hoping that works. Ooh, a Magneton. Is that? No, this is the fourth one, so he has one more. Maybe a uh, Ampharos? That'd be cool. Electabuzz. Oh, that's even cooler, actually. I, I respect that. Special defense rose. <laughs> Great. I'm so glad that you did that. That is so not helpful to you. Okay, give me my badge. And please tell me you have a TM. Arg, you are so strong. Okay, kid, you get Thunder Badge. Now we can use Cut outside of battle. Thunder Badge increases Pokemon speed. Consider it proof that you defeated me. You wear it proudly here. You also don't give me a TM? Bro. What does a man gotta do to get a TM around here, huh? Anyway, uh, next up is actually Celadon City, so... Finally take on the Grass Gym. And we do have time to do it. Let me heal first, though, for just for PP purposes, really. And while I was healing, I'm just on my break. Did you know? Ben and Fern talk on the phone for hours about what Pokemon music they should play on different days of the week. One time, Fern's rapping style kind of rubbed off on Ben weirdly. So we ended up enduring Ben's silly, chilly, 
a willy-nilly jive talking shtick for a while. Oh boy. Let's try it again. Whoever wrote that dialogue, uh, I feel bad for you. My deepest and sincerest apologies. But anyway. Let's go ahead and go down here. Obviously we need to go this way to get to the gym. And is there anyone outside? Or, ooh, there is someone outside. Let's read the gym thing first. Seldon City Pokemon Gym, Leader Erica, the nature loving princess. Okay, I would not go that far. Nee, <laughs> this gym is great. Only girls are allowed here. Good thing I'm a girl. Fantastic. And of course, the guy's not here because he's not a girl. We'll show you Pokemon moves that Erica taught us. Oh, this gym got really lame. It's just like a straight path. Joe and Zoe? Oh, a victory bell. Ooh. Now my bird Pokemon makes sense. Let's go. This is nice. Just doing gyms. Gym rush, essentially. This is definitely have to be the last one, though, before we end the episode. As unfortunate as that kind of is, but it is what it is. Vile plume. Goodbye. Oh, we lost. Oh, a battle? That's kind of scary, but okay. Man, how many gym or trainers are in this gym? That's technically two, three, four, five at the very least. Executor. Ooh. Executor. Adish. Executor. I like giving uh, Ariel some time in the spotlight to deal with all these grass types. It's kind of nice. Though, I might switch over to Vesuvius instead. Ow, that's it? Oh, that person didn't want to fight us. Let's Yeah, let's actually switch to Vesuvius. Just because... There was really no good reason, just because. Do you think a girls only gym is rare? Uh, like, totally. Uh, ooh, a skip loom. Actually, I don't really care about skip loom. Like, at all. Uh, bye bye. At least have a jump bluff if you're gonna send out something that's in the evolutionary line. I think Jump Bluff's design's also better, so... Oh, there's a Jump Bluff. Nice. Jump Bluff's actually a very interesting typing, grass flying. And I think at one point in time, I was like, maybe I'll use a Jump Bluff. And then... It didn't learn fly, and I was like, well, I need something that can learn fly. Wow, you had the whole evolutionary line, huh? And he chose the lead with the skip loom. Interesting. Oh, bleh. Hello. Were you looking at these flowers or at me? Uh, neither. I was looking at Erica. Come on. Ooh, a Paris. Please set tell me of a Parasect. Give me a Parasect and give me... I want to see someone with a Tangela, also. Though I bet you that'll probably, probably be Erica that has the Tangela. Though feel, pre feel free to prove me wrong. Okay, there's the Parasect. 
Also, it would be cool to see a Vileplume or a Bell Awesome, though that might also just be Erica, so. Ooh, a Sunflora. Sunflora. <laughs> Let's see it. Me trying to remember all the grass types. Execute. Uh, meh. I've seen enough of those already. I bet you Erica's not gonna have a Sunflora though. Because why would she? Why would anyone have a Sunflora? How annoying. Hello. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I may doze off. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. Oh? All the way from Johto? You say? Oh, nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Ooh, you do have a Dingla. I actually have a mad respect for Tangela's stats. Because it's way statier than I thought it would be. Look at that. It almost took that flamethrower. I think. Maybe it didn't. But it definitely took its time to get rid of that health. So. Alright, Victory Bell just makes sense. Probably your ace also, if I had to guess. And what else do you have? Give me a challenge, come on. A Bell Awesome. Oh! Does it have Sunny Day? Is it gonna boost my flamethrower if I let it? <laughs> I'm not gonna let it. Because it's gonna poison powder me or sleep powder me or something. Yeah, I'm not gonna be happy about it. And Bob Bloom. Jump Luff. Ooh. I don't know what that does for you. I guess that gives you bug coverage, technically, but. I doubt you have a flying type move on it. I think it learns, like, bounce, and that's it, so. Alright, nice. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I shall give you Rainbow Badge. TM, please, because no one else wants to give me a TM. That was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM. Thank you. Giga Drain it is a wonderful move that drains half the damage it inflicts to heal your Pokemon. Please use it if it pleases you. Giga Drain is actually a great move. The only problem with it is it has very low PP, but if you can deal with that, like by giving PP ups and things like that, then it could be really good for a grass type Pokemon, especially one that's quite tanky and could use the healing. So like if you have a um, a Meganium, like you started with Chikorita, I could I could recommend. Losing leaves a bitter losing leaves a bitter aftertaste. But knowing that there are strong trainers spurs me to do better. Some people cannot say the same thing. Okay, well with that done and out of the way, we're gonna... Oh wow, you got quite high leveled, actually, my dude. Anyway, with that out of the way, we're gonna end the episode here. So, if you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video and you want to see more, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you dislike the video, there's a dislike button for what it's worth. And tell me why you dislike the video in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see everyone next time.